Van Ice. So good to see you. Welcome back to art. Uh, this past week, we were looking at a really cool artist named Kumi Yamashita. She's a Japanese shadow artist that uses everyday objects and some special objects to create really interesting shadows. And now remember, last week you were creating shadow puppets. And this week we're going to be playing with shadows a little bit more, but this time we're going to be using objects that you might be able to find around the house, playing with their shadows and thinking about what types of things could we make out of their shadow shape. It's going to be pretty interesting and it's going to take some experimentation and this one might be a little bit tough to photograph. So if you can't get a good picture of these, that is okay. But I'm going to go on a hunt to find a nice sunny spot or, you know, I could create my own shadows with a flashlight or a lamp or something like that. But it's a bright sunny day out, which means that there is sunshine coming through my windows. I'm going to try to find a sunny spot, set up some tools and see if they create interesting shadows. Then I'm going to take those shadows and try to use some drawing tools to turn them into something else. It's kind of like when we were making those found object sculpture drawings. Remember I took that potato and turned it into a submarine? It's kind of a similar idea that we're trying out this week. So are you ready to start in on our Kumi Yamashita inspired shadow art? I am. Let's get started. Okay, so right now I am on a hunt for a really sunny spot in my house. I wanna find somewhere that the sun is actually hitting a surface. That's the surface I'm gonna be working on today. Let's see if you can help me find the perfect spot. Hmm, okay, we're looking for a really bright patch of sun. Let's see. Okay, um, let's see. <gasps> Do you see sun? Look right there. That's where I'm going to do my drawing today. Okay, I'm all set up to do some drawing. I've got some paper, I've got a pencil, and you see because this light is coming through the window and it's a little bit later in the day. Right now it's about four o'clock, so there's some nice long shadows happening. Do you see that shadow off of my pencil? Really interesting. This is actually like the perfect light to do shadow puppets. Ruff, ruff but I grabbed some objects that I'm gonna be working with today. So I got a couple of pieces of fruit. I grabbed a clementine and a banana. I wanna see what those shadows look like. Uh, I grabbed a glue stick. Maybe that will give me an interesting shadow. I wanted to grab something kind of box-like. So this is a pack of uh, Harry Potter playing cards I have. And then I went into my recycling and I found some pieces of paper. Well, it was one big kind of magazine advertisement that I actually cut up. And I'm gonna try crumpling a few of these pieces up to see what kind of shadows these make. So let's start with this clementine right here. Do you see its shadow? How would you describe that shape? It's a little bit different than the clementine. What's interesting is the clementine is very round, but this shape is a little bit longer like this. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna try to draw right along this shadow with my pencil. Hmm. Oh, I know what this could be. I'm gonna give this some eyeballs. Do you know what I'm turning it into? It's a crab. Let's see if I can give this crab a cute little smile. Hmm. Okay, there's one shadow. And maybe when I, uh, remove the uh, the clementine later, I can finish the drawing off. Okay, so that's what I turned my clementine into. I wonder what my banana could become. Let's see, hmm. Oh, I know, maybe I'm gonna use two of my objects. I'm gonna place my cards here. I want my banana to lean against something. Wow, these objects sure are interesting when you're drawing from their shadows. I wonder what the glue stick can create. I 
am a robot. Now I'm doing lots of drawing within the shadow right now, and it's definitely a little tough to tell with the uh, with the object's shadow in the way. But in a little bit, I'll take the sh objects away. You can even see right now, some of the shadows aren't quite as lined up as they were before. That is because the sun slowly moves across the sky all day long. And sooner or later, these objects' shadows are no longer going to be in my drawings, like I have them right now. So, these ones are pretty cool. Let's take away the, uh, the objects and see what kinds of things I've been creating. There's my boat, there's my crab, and there's my robot. But do you notice something about these things? They're not quite finished yet, are they? So I'm going to complete them. Wow, I like how this drawing turned out. You know, I kind of want to remember what objects I used to um, create these. So maybe I will carefully write the name of each object underneath the drawing. That way I'll remember what I used to create them or what shadow I used. So let's see. There we go. We have my orange, my banana, and my glue stick. Now, this is pretty awesome. If you want to make one of these, that's great. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna grab a new piece of paper and move these objects. I wanna see what happens when I crumple up some paper just like Kumi Yamashita did. I'm gonna take some fresh paper right here. And hmm, here's a piece just from this magazine. I wanna try, maybe I'll just try crumpling it up like this. And let's see what kind of shadow I get from that. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. Huh, you know what this one looks like to me? I think that looks like a fish. I'm gonna try to draw a fish. So all of these different drawings that I have here were created using shadows. The only thing about shadows is once they go away, you can't really tell that that's where the drawings came from. That's why I took time to write the name of each object next to the drawing to show what I used to create it. And this style of working can just be a really great idea. If you want to draw a picture, but you're not sure what to draw, maybe try taking a piece of paper crumpling it up, setting it down, and then take a look at its shadow. What does that shadow look like to me? This could be a gorilla. It could be a spaceship. I don't know. It could even be a plate of macaroni and cheese. Everybody can see something different. And this is just a really cool trick that we can use to sort of get our creative juices flowing. Well, I hope you had fun trying out this way of working, Van Heis. Shadow drawings can be a lot of fun, and if you can take a picture of your drawing with the shadow in it as well, that would be awesome. But if not, maybe just taking a picture of whatever you created on here, that works too. Either way, I hope you have a lot of fun. Can't wait to see what you create. We'll see you next time.